I'd like to turn to representatives from the youth, and first, um, Swetha Bashem, um, over to you. Thank you. On behalf of the youth, I would like to thank the President of the UN General Assembly, the CITES Secretariat, and its parties for recognizing the importance of listening to young voices and providing us with the opportunity to share our experience and ideas on this World Wildlife Day. It is a well-known fact that over half of the world's population is under 30. It is we who will be, mostly, he will be most negatively affected by the loss of wildlife, and it will be our responsibility to manage, and, uh, to manage and conserve this wildlife for the future. Thousands of young people all around the world are taking action to conserve and protect wildlife and their habitats. I myself have worked on several wildlife conservation projects in India, which include fighting against illegal encroachment into protected areas, advocating for conserving new areas for otters, tigers, and the critically endangered long-billed vultures, I also conducted one of the first studies on the stump-tailed macaques for their conservation in the wild. I also, uh, I also conducted surveys to understand the hunting communities in southern India. We, the youth, might not have your experience or your tools, but we have a unique perspective. We are passionate, dedicated, working on the ground, brainstorming for innovative solutions to combat the threat to wildlife, leading awareness-raising campaigns in our communities and also contributing to scientific research. The Youth for Wildlife Conservation is a new global network of such young conservationists born from the Youth Forum for People and Wildlife held in South Africa in September 2016. Our mission is to support and empower youth to become the future conservation leaders the world needs. In order to do this, we facilitate peer-to-peer -peer support, we provide capacity-building resources, and we promote sharing of diverse opinions on those sometimes complex issues. Despite our efforts, we know that the path towards conserving our wildlife is a long and difficult one. We face several hurdles to even get the opportunity to work in the field of wildlife conservation, and I am one such youth. When I first entered this field, in spite of my passion, opportunities were sparse. I had to work in a nearby zoo for a year before I got my first exposure to wildlife. It took me a while to even make my way towards my true passion. But we are finally here. We are here eager to learn from you and your experiences and to work with you on the design, implementation, and evaluation of wildlife programs and policies. We are the future leaders here to learn from the experiences of the leaders of today. This, uh, this would truly empower us with the experience, skills, and tools needed to take on the fight to ensure a future for our precious wildlife and their habitats. We, finally, we applaud the first step taken by the CITES and its parties in the adoption of the first ever resolution on youth engagement during the COP17 in South Africa. We urge parties and the CIT Secretariat to take the next step by working with universities, youth groups, and other relevant organizations, such as Youth for Wildlife Conservation, so that we can help together bridge the gap in awareness and action. Together, we can work towards a better future for us and our planet's magnificent creatures. Thank you. Thank you, um, Swetha, and of course, all of us here wish you every success, and we hope that the Youth for Wildlife Conservation um, um, Club, is it? Um, uh, organization um, uh, is prosperous, and um, we certainly need you to be. Now, I'd like to turn to our...